start at the beginning, I was invited to participate in this pageant by one of my ex-boyfriends. I kind of waited till the last minute to really prepare. You know, that was the first mistake right there. So day of the pageant, I get all my stuff prepared, I get in makeup, I head out to head to the pageant, which is an hour away, and I was driving by myself. I just forgot my wallet at home. I forgot it. I was driving for a little bit, it was all fine, and traffic started slowing down and traffic was getting pretty heavy. My lane in particular was going super duper slow. So I look over to see if I can, you know, get over to the other lane, and I'm looking for like three seconds, I look forward, and the car in front of me has stopped and is like maybe 20 feet away. I slam on the brakes, but it's it's just too late and my car smashes into the car in front of me. I was actually like, I was I was about to cry, but like I was in full makeup so I had to hold myself back and it was just, it was not, not a good experience. And so we pull over to the side, me and the other car. Um, my car is totally busted in the front. The other car, I mean, it didn't really look damaged at all like the, I didn't know what to do in this situation so I immediately call my dad and I'm like my dad told me to get my license and my registration and my whatever and I was like my dad I don't have my license with me you need to bring it before the cops come and so I'm just waiting there and a few minutes later the cops show up my parents haven't shown up yet when the police officer came up to me my car he was like hello sir How, how are you doing today? I just got into a wreck. Oh, I mean, he was just very appalled that this beautiful face of a woman could be on this boy's body because at this point I wasn't in full drag, I just literally had makeup on. And he's like, okay, well, we're gonna try and get off the freeway. And I'm like, all right, cool. So we pull off the freeway. And, you know, it was all fine. We got it taken care of. I put in my statements, my parents showed up. It was all fine, but the police officer asks me, is there anything in this car that I need to know about? And I'm like, I mean, nothing besides my drag. And then he's like, yeah, I definitely smell marijuana in this car. And I'm like, dude, can you see that again? Sorry, can, can you see that again? I, I think I smell marijuana in your car. Honey, no, I, I, I can't hear you, I'm sorry. See that, see that again. Ma'am, I mean, sir, ma'am, sir. I'm, I want to search your car for marijuana. <sighs> Officer, you can do whatever you want. I have a pageant to be at 30 minutes ago. I'm late. You can check the car for marijuana. You won't find any marijuana in there. I'm, I've never done marijuana in my life. I've never had friends who have brought marijuana into my car. You can go into that car and you can check for marijuana. He, he brought this whole team in, which took 10 minutes for them to get there. I started searching the car, and you will not believe this, like I've told so many people, but they just, they just won't believe me when I say that they locked my keys in my car. I, I, I was just so disgusted, I was like, all of my drag is in there, all of my shit is in there, and you want to lock my keys in my car? And they're like, I'm sorry, ma'am, sir. It was an accident, and I'm like, I'll figure out something. You, I swear to God, like literally, like I was supposed to be at this pageant. I still have 30 minutes to drive. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm screwed. I feel like the world is really conspiring against me at this point, and like, you know, I really like doubted my will to do drag. Like I was like, am I really supposed to be doing this? Eventually, they had to like take this thing and jam it into my window and unlock my door and. They finished searching for marijuana. Obviously, they didn't find any marijuana in there, which I was like, I told you. I, you know, I told you. I don't, I don't even know what. I, don't, I know the gorgeous. I only made it to the pageant. It was all good. My singing performance was terrible, but I felt like I did really good on the runways. Thank God I'm still here today. Like, but anyways, I want to thank you guys so much for watching that video. If you guys really enjoyed it, go ahead and subscribe. Give this video a like and comment what you thought. And I will see you all next week on Friday with Bitchy Fridays. Oh, shit. Hey, guys.